So this equation provides a equation for y here, which most likely means we're going to do something with graphing. Um, the question goes on to say the given equation relates the variables x and y. For what value of x does the value of y reach its minimum? So we do see that we have a quadratic equation, right? We have a x squared, squared being our highest exponent here, which means that we're going to have a parabola. So the easiest way to answer this question is to graph this on your graphing calculator and look for the vertex, right? So every parabola has a vertex here. That vertex will have an x value and y value. The question is asking for what value of x does the y value reach its minimum? So you'd be looking for the x value here. Um, and then the graphing calculator will literally show you exactly where that is. I'm going to show you how to find that without using a graphing calculator. But again, the fastest way is using the graphing calculator. But there is a formula for finding the x value of the vertex of a parabola. And that is x equals negative b over 2a. Where, you know, utilizing our knowledge about what a quadratic equation looks like, ax squared plus bx plus c, lets us know that, for our equation that we have, since there's no coefficient in front of the x squared, that our a value is 1. And since there's a negative 14 in front of the x, our b value is negative 14. So when I plug that in here, I'd have negative b, which becomes positive 14, over 2a. But a is 1, so it doesn't change anything. So we have 14 divided by 2, which is 7. So the answer to this question is 7. 7 is the x value that... Um, for, you know, it's the question that asks, for what x value does the value of y reach its minimum? So 7 is the x value of the vertex of this parabola.